Welcome to Red Rocks Community College. We would like to show you an example of what the Red Rocks online learning experience is like for students in our CHEO enhanced courses by taking you on a short tour of one of our courses in the Desire to Learn or D2L system. All of our courses are different, but they all share some commonalities. We will show you some of those now. When students log into their course, they will see a screen similar to this. There will be a menu of options across the top of the screen and a main window of boxes below. This main window, or course homepage, is a place for the instructors to provide news and updates to their students. Students may find information about their instructors, and the course calendar is always available to remind students of their upcoming assignments. From the course homepage, students are instructed to move on to the course content. A course overview lets the students know the overall goals for the course over the entire semester. A Start Here module offers a welcome letter from the instructor to the students, a first day assignments module gives students step-by-step -step guidance about where to start with their course along with their first steps to begin accessing their course material. The course home module houses the course syllabus and the course schedule. The syllabus provides information about the course and about Red Rocks Community College, including information on course grading policies and college policies. The schedule provides an overview of the upcoming semester, so students can plan and they will know what to expect as the course moves on. Each course module is laid out with a weekly overview that tells students exactly what they will be responsible for in the upcoming week, both online and in class work. In this case, the students will be expected to participate in two online discussions. They will have three online modules to work through, and they will need to prepare for their in-class lectures. In this RN Refresher course, we designed all of the weekly online modules to be refreshers of anatomy and physiology, physical assessment, and medication overviews for the major body systems. The in-class content will give students an opportunity to review and discuss nursing of patients with suffering from disorders of those major body systems. Each week, the students also participate in a hands-on skills lab. They will practice tasks like implementation of the cardiovascular assessment skills that were covered in the online module and a refresher on how to start IVs. Finally, each week during class, the students participate in a team simulation using our MediMan patient simulator. In this case, the simulator will reenact a patient undergoing an acute myocardial infarction. For their online coursework, students interact with modules that were designed and built by our in-house instructional designer with all non-copyright OER content. The modules were created using SoftChalk content authoring software that produces fully accessible HTML modules. In this case, the module provides an overview of the cardiovascular system. All modules begin with some basic learning objectives so the students know what to expect. And some review in this case, we're going to get to the heart of the matter, and we are able to provide the students with some OER content in the form of some review videos from a professor in Eureka, California, who licensed her content with a Creative Commons license. The modules include interactive activities, such as a labeling activity for the students, where they drag and drop information, and they are told if they have the correct answer. There are also self-checks embedded within all of the modules, where the students can review the information they just read. Make sure they're paying attention. Sometimes students will read through the information and not really get it until they start answering these questions, and then they'll realize maybe they should read this in a little bit more closely. The self-checks are a nice way for them to stay on task while they're working on their online coursework from home. Some of the modules even include heart sounds or other sounds the students will need to listen to. If the students are not able to access the sounds in their browser, they can access them on a website. In our course, in the cardiovascular module, 
Students will need to be responsible for reading EKGs to verify how patients are progressing. If students feel they need more practice, resources are provided where the students can continue practicing more online material. In this example, a 45-year-old male with epigastric pain is producing this EKG. The students are expected to be able to read this EKG and provide an answer of what that EKG means. Finally, at the end of the online resource, more information is given. These modules are intended to be overviews, as our students in the RN Refresher course have already gone through nursing school and have already had a full boat of anatomy and physiology classes. They will need to decide if they need more review or not, and the resources are provided if they do need more review. When they have completed the online training module, instructions are given to close this window and return to their desire to learn system. Students all participate in weekly online discussions designed to provide the students with an opportunity to engage and interact with other classmates and more deeply explore each week's content. Discussion prompts are provided and the students must provide a response of their own before they are able to see other students' responses. The students are then asked to respond to at least one or more of their fellow students, therefore engaging in an online discussion. The students also produce weekly care plans as assigned in which they prepare for the work setting. They will be expected to devise care plans for patients on a regular basis and they are given instructions. In this case, devise a care plan for a patient with one of the following respiratory disease processes. A care plan form is provided in the content. The students complete their care plan and then they submit it in the Desire to Learn Dropbox. Finally, students will complete a weekly quiz at the end of each module to gauge their own learning both online and in class. They are provided these assessments to ensure that they are indeed meeting their learning goals from the week. This has just been a brief overview of one of Red Rocks Community College's hybrid health science courses. As a part of the TAA CCCT supported CHEO grant project, we were able to fully redesign 16 courses to create interactive hybrid courses that minimize required on-campus time while maximizing learning and engagement.